And at the same time, here in Indiana, prominent Republicans spoke out against the health care plan. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader on a state house rally on a national debate. As the health care debate rages in Washington, its repercussions are felt in Indianapolis. On the east steps of the state house, those in lockstep with the president showed their support. What do you want? Health care! When do you want it? Now! You have to stay engaged, go home, call your family, your friends, you tell them to contact their members of Congress. We want health reform and we want it now. Minutes later, Tea Party advocates held a kill the bill rally on the South Steps. Including Indiana Congressman Mike Pence. When the federal government mandates that you got to buy insurance, mandates you got to offer insurance, says what's in the insurance, controls the insurance, and sets a czar over the insurance, that's a government takeover of health care, and the people of Indiana know it. The battle over health care reform found itself on the State House steps in downtown Indianapolis late this afternoon. Members of the Indianapolis Tea Party left no doubt which side of the issue they're on. Calling it a kill the bill rally, hundreds of Indianapolis Tea Party members and supporters made it clear they don't want what President Obama is selling. It promised transferring state power to federal regulators, giving unprecedented amounts of power to the federal government, especially the Secretary of Human Health and Human Services. Indiana Congressman Mike Pence was on hand to lend support to Tea Party members. The people of Indiana want health care reform that will lower the cost of health insurance, not grow the size of government, but to get to sensible reform, men and women, we've got to kill the bill. But if rallies like this one in Indianapolis are aimed at changing the president's mind, they aren't working. Today he made that clear in a rally of his own in Ohio. I don't know about the politics, but I know what's the right thing to do. And so I'm calling on Congress to pass these reforms. But if the president's mind isn't changed by those in the Indianapolis Tea Party, the Tea Party members aren't changing their minds about the president's health care plan either. We don't like health care reform that forces every American to buy health insurance whether they want it or need it or not. The president said he expects to get the votes for his health care overhaul. In an interview today, the president said Democrats are working to get a bill ready for a vote later this week. He said, quote, I believe we are going to get the votes. Hoosiers squared off today in rallies for and against President Obama's health care bill. Both groups are hoping their voices will be heard in Washington. The local group Organizing for America had a smaller showing today, but are still standing strong in support of the health care reform bill. Just a few feet away, a large turnout for the Indianapolis Tea Party for their Kill the Bill rally. I'm against the health care plan. I think that it's going to drive this country into such debt that we'll never, ever recover. Our kids, our grandkids, and their grandkids will be paying for it. Young people should be covered also, along with uh, older people. And also, we shouldn't be denied because you had a pre-existing condition. I think that's unfair. Republican Congressman Mike Pence also spoke at today's Kill Bill rally. If people rise up and say we can do better and say we can do health care reform that, that lowers the cost of health insurance without growing the size of government, um, that uh, we'll, we'll scrap this bill, we'll start over immediately.